In the prehistoric Dance of Giants, where colossal dinosaurs roamed the Earth, a silent and formidable predator lurked beneath the waves, challenging the very notion of dominance in the ancient world. Forget about the thunderous footsteps of T-Rex or the soaring wings of pterosaurs, because the true heavyweight champion, the unheralded giant of the waters, was none other than Dinosuchus. There are ties between Dinosuchus and crocodiles and alligators, but tests on its brain case show that it was more related to alligators. Its name comes from the Greek words dinos, which means terrible, and sakos, which means crocodile. The first fossils were found in North America in the 1850s. The species was named and described in 1909. More skull pieces were found in the 1940s. They were later used to fix up an American Museum of Natural History copy of the skull that was done badly. More pieces of Dinosuch's brain have been found in the last few years, but we still don't fully understand this huge alligatoroid. Crocodiles from the genus Dinosuchus are no longer alive, but they were known for being very big. They were one of the biggest crocodiles that ever lived. The fossils show that these ancient animals were at least 33 feet long, and maybe even longer. Not only were they much bigger than crocodiles and alligators today, but they were also the top hunters in their own environments. The huge size of this predator makes people wonder about its place in the ecosystem and how it interacted with other animals while it was alive. The shape of Dinosuchus's brain showed how dangerous it was. The head was wide, strong, and long, showing that it was designed to catch and restrain big animals. But the teeth are the most interesting thing about its head structure. They had a huge number of teeth. Each tooth was big, cone-shaped, and sharpened. The shape of its teeth suggests that they were well-suited for a life as a hunter, able to sneak up on and grab a wide range of targets, even big dinosaurs. Dinosuchus' strong lips and teeth show how complicated environments were in the past and how different species interacted with each other constantly. Along with its huge head and strong jaws, Dinosuchus had unique changes in the way its limbs were shaped. They had pretty strong arms that would have been able to support their huge body weight. Its legs stayed in the semi-erect position that is typical of current crocodilians. Although Dinosuchus lived in water, these changes show that it was also able to move on land maybe for short lengths. The animal was a dominant hunter in the environment it lived in because it had strong legs and a great way of high in water. As the top hunter in the Lake Cretaceous, Dinosuchus had unique ways of eating and a very healthy food. Fossil evidence, like bite marks on dinosaur bones, shows that Dinosuchus was a hungry hunter that ate big animals that got too close to the water. They had strong, sharpened teeth that were good for grabbing and breaking skin, which showed that they were a sneaky attack hunter. Prey likely included dinosaurs, turtles, and other big animals that lived on land. Dinosuchus lives in a variety of watery settings, which suggests it eats a wide range of foods. This shows how well it can hunt and catch prey in different ecosystems. In the late Cretaceous, Dinosuchus left its mark in many places. Fossils found in different places show that it lived in a lot of different places. Dinosuchus fossils have been found in the southeastern United States, mainly in Alabama, Mississippi, and Texas. Dinosuchus living in these places shows that it was widely spread along the old landscape's shoreline and upland water systems. The area where Dinosuchus lived also brings up interesting questions about how it interacted with other species at the time and what role it played in different environments. By looking at where Dinosuchus lived and how it spread out, we can learn a lot about the paleogeography of the late Cretaceous and how ecosystems in that time were linked across areas. We hope this video has ignited your curiosity and sparked a newfound appreciation for the diversity of life that once thrived on our planet. If you found this journey through time as fascinating as we did, don't forget to hit that like button, share with fellow enthusiasts, and subscribe for more captivating adventures into the realms of science and history.